I'm Charlie Love and welcome to this Google Admin video with Apps Events and Acer. And today what I'm going to do is I am going to talk to you all about calendars and calendar resources and how you can create those using GAM and give you a kind of overview of how that all works together. So let's get started. So here what I've got is an overview of, of the layout for calendar resources. So within Google Workspace, your calendar resources have an attribute where they sit within a building. So resources sit within a building and the building has an address and the location. And a building also has a number of floors. So when within that building, your structured resources um, are attached to different floors in that building. And if we think about a floor in the building, as you'll see, well, I've got floor three here. And in floor three, I've got an area of that building, which I call computer science. And this is my kind of computing science department. So you think about this as a school, college or university. We've got a number of buildings on campus. We've got buildings with a number of floors. And then within those floors, we have particular spaces that are designated uh, particular areas within that building. And then within those areas, we will have rooms that you can book. Those are conference rooms, or we will have resources that you can book. Like I want to book a trolley of 30 Chromebooks, for example. So let's have a little look at how that's structured. So I'm going to talk about a particular resource example to start with, and then we'll go a little bit further. So this is my resource. It's going to be a computing science lab. So I'm going to give it a code. That's going to be my ID for this particular resource. It's going to be known as Computing Lab 1. It's, it's type, well, I can specify a type of resource. So I'm going to call it Computing Lab. It's going to have a floor section, just as you saw on the map previously, which is computing science, computer science. It's going to be on floor three of the building. It's in building number one, and it's got some features. So I've added these features. So there's a Jamboard available. The room is accessible and it has 20 computer workstations in it. Its capacity is 30 students or 30 people. And its category is conference room. Why category conference room? Well, I'll tell you why. Because resources within Google Workspace for calendars can be really of two types. You can have a conference room, which is a bookable room space uh, with the attributes of a, a bookable space or you can have other. So other types of resources are resources that you can book out. It might be a van or it might be, as I say, a trolley of Chromebooks. So that's the difference. And categories of rooms are set up um, using the API. We can use GAM to set those up and define them. And we can say whether it's a, a conference room or it's another resource. And when we have that, you'll see the, the room will be displayed or the resource will be displayed as you see there. And there's more information about how that works on the link that's at the bottom of that slide deck there, uh, just about uh, structured resources in Google Calendar. So we're going to have these structured resources, rooms, and other stuff. Okay, so let's move on. So my first step here is I want, what I want to do is I want to add a building. So I'm just going to use this GAM command to add a building. I could do it through the admin console, but I'll give you a good reason why you might want to do it this way in just a second. I'm also going to add some features. These are the features that I want to be available in the rooms. So I want to say things like, I want to say if the room is accessible. I want to say if Google Meet's available in the room for video conferencing. So just before we start with those resources, one thing I want to point out is it's actually really helpful to have a resource um, called none, meaning that you've got no resource available in that room. It's just a space or there isn't an, another attribute to be set. And the reason for that um, is that when we, if we try to batch commands later, it's useful to have the ability to say there's none, uh, otherwise we might get an error in the batch commands. But we'll just, I'll show you that in a little bit. So I've jumped across to Google Cloud Shell where I've installed GAM and I'm going to create a building using a GAM command. So I'm just going to pop in my GAM command, which is going to be GAM create building, the building name, an ID for the building. So I'm going to call it building hyphen one description, the floors it sits on. Notice with the floors, I've just put G one, two, and three, 
put commas between them, but I've got no spaces just to make life a little easier so it doesn't read those spaces in. And now I'm going to create my building. So I've created a building. Great. Now, before I can add my rooms and my other resources, what I want to do is I want to add my features. So what are the features that I want to have available in my room? So I want to say if a room is accessible or not. So I'm going to have to add a feature for accessibility. So I'm just going to say GAM create feature name accessible. So that's how the building feature called accessible. So that's been created and I'll create some other building features in just a second. One of the other ones that I'm, I want to create is I actually want to add a, a create, create a feature called Google Meet. So I've went where I've got Google Meet hardware in meeting rooms that's available for folks to use. So I'm going to say GAM create feature name Google Meet. Now that's a video conferencing feature. Um, but unfortunately with GAM, I can't add the type of feature here within GAM. It's one of the few occasions where I can't do something in GAM that I can do in the admin console. So let's jump across to the admin console. So here I am in the admin console. I've gone into my calendar resources and I'm looking at building one. Of course, there are no resources in building one because we haven't added any yet, but we do have features for the building. So if I just click on here, manage resource features, you'll see here's the accessible resource that I added. Here's a Google Meet resources and some other ones that I also added as well. Um, this Google Meet one, what I want to do is just quickly edit that. And I'm going to change it to be a video conferencing resource just so that when it displays to users, we know that that's about video conferencing and that Google Meet hardware is in that room for, for, for that. Uh, notice how I've also added a telephone um, feature to, for rooms and that's, part of, that's a type telephony. And you could add uh, voice conferencing telephony tools as well and have those as type telephony too. So let's go back and start to make some resources. And to do that, I'm going to use the GAM command, GAM create resource, and this is for our computing science lab. So you see, I've got all the information about the computing science lab written out there as uh, GAM commands, GAM parameters to be used. So I've got CS lab one, which is going to be the ID for the room, computing lab one, which is its name, description, a description there, the building it's in, building one, the type is computing lab. That's a type I've decided to set. I've got capacity 30, the features. Notice I put the features inside quotes, um, just with commas between them. Uh, no additional spaces around the commas. They have need to match. So it's just Jamboard, comma, accessible, comma, 20 workstations. And those are the features that I've already set up. It's on floor three. The floor section is computer science. And the category, very importantly, is conference room because this is a bookable room space. Okay, so let's go over to Cloud Shell and create our room. So I'm just dropping the command into Cloud Shell and let's see what happens. Fantastic. So I've created my resource and I suppose what you're asking me now is, no, okay, Charlie, why would you do it this way? Well, you do this way if you want to create resources at scale. So you can use GAM to create lots of them using CSV files. So let me show you what I mean. So here's my spreadsheet with all the resources that I want to create. All I'm going to do now is just highlight a couple of things to you. I've got another computing science lab here. I've got a couple of meeting rooms, um, which I've given type meeting room to. These are going to be classrooms for teaching. So I've just called these all classroom type. Notice how they've got whether they're accessible or not. And a helpful tip, as I mentioned before, is it's good to have a feature of none if you don't have any features to add to the room. So you can use it in this batch creating using the CSV. Um, I've got my uh, different features in my rooms given there. I've used the structured resources category. So I have either conference rooms or bookable resources that are of type other. So my Chromebook trolleys are here um, and they are ICT resources, one on each floor, to a couple on the ground floor, and I've given them a, a type of trolley, and they're all in building one. So I'm just going to download, download this file, and then I'm going to upload that file to my cloud shell. 
So I've put in the command now to create my resources. So I'm going to use my CSV file as a source for that. So I've done gam csv resources.csv and the rest of the parameters that I used earlier to create it. Um, just as I explained before, I'm using the title to, as, to uh, identify the fields that I'm going to use for my spreadsheet. So let's run that command. And that's great. It's using the APIs and stepping through creating all of those resources. Great. It's done. Let's jump over to the admin console and see what we've got. So here I am at the admin console. I've got my Chromebook trolleys. Yep. Five of them there. I have my computer, computing lab one and two. The first one that I made and then the second. And then I have the rest of my calendar resources all listed just as I want them using my uh, CSV. If I go into one of these in particular, let's go into um, this meeting room one, have a closer look at that. And you'll see that what I've got here in terms of the features under video conferencing, I've got Google Meet. Uh, it's an accessible room, so I've got accessible as another feature. Um, and I've got its area, uh, its ground floor management. Um, it's on the ground floor. Um, we've got the meeting space category, everything there that we want in terms of where that room is and the part of the building that it's in. Excellent. So that's how I created a lots of calendar resources very quickly. Um, there are more and more GAM commands that you can use. Whole host of them here. You can use them to create resources, update resources. Um, you can print them out. You can add the buildings, update those buildings, delete them. You can create new features and so on. So that's, you can all find out more about that on, at the GAM wiki where you'll see there are different commands that you can use. I hope you found that useful to very, it's a really easy and quick way to create calendar resources in Google Workspace um, without having to click and do them individually as you go through the admin console. It's a great way to make them in bulk is to get them into a spreadsheet file, download that CSV, stick it into Cloud Shell and run GAM and get, make those resources all online really quickly. So I'm Charlie Love. This has been a Google Admin tutorial from Apps Events and Acer.